Mara. She's always come across as a sensible, safe girl. It's been really fun to show a very different side to Mara. Like, I never knew she was so complicated until this season. We need a pact. From now on, we do not get pushed around. Oh, I like it. Yeah, she's crazy. Get out! With the emotional scenes, you know, honestly, this isn't very good of me to say as an actor, but being really tired helps. If I come into work really tired, I can cry so much easier. <laughs> yes, I did something bad. Uh -huh. Don't sleep the night before. <laughs> Stage kissing actually isn't that embarrassing. With Bobby in season one, that was my first ever stage kiss, so that was quite scary. Then from season two to now, it's not a problem at all. It's just a bit weird because they're more brotherly than romantic in any way. It's definitely been a roller coaster, the Mara and Jerome storyline. I have enjoyed it. There you guys are. I really enjoyed it because Mara has always been very dependent on boys so now finally it's all about her and realizing actually she doesn't need a boy want to know more about Teasy? me too here are five things you didn't know about me Teasy's full name is anastasia katya breezy danraj yep and i actually chose the name anastasia myself because when my mum was pregnant with me she went through a list of baby names and i kicked on anastasia Taisy wrote and performed a song that features in a Hollywood film. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a lot of excited phone calls when people saw my name credited in the film. Taisy is an advocator of animal rights. Yes, I am. <laughs> I love free-range chickens and hate battery farms. Taisy has two pet cats, one's called Carmen and one's called Willow. Yes, I do, but Willow actually isn't named after Louise's character, Willow. It's named after Willow from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's a boy as well. Oh. Taisy's travelled the world and even lived with a tribe in Indonesia. Yep, I lived with a tribe called the Mentuai, and a couple Mentuai words are Bushaila, which means pig, and Musi, which means cat. And I didn't have toilets or showers, so you just used the river mm. to wash and whatnot. Nice. So, those were five things you didn't know about Taisy. And now you do. Hey guys! Oh, typical. Another mystery that Mara is oblivious to. Here is a typical Anubis house food spread. And here's my favourite cake, coffee. A bit of a Greek theme here. And Alfie's half eaten cookie. Daisy. For the scene. Catch. Three. It's not real, it's okay. Fake eggs. Okay, so it's time for the ultimate personality test. Have a food fight or a snowball fight? Definitely a snowball fight, because with a food fight, you're going to get sticky and need to shower after. True. true but true. a snowball fight, you just get cold and then it's over. Give presents or get presents? This is a really hard one, because giving is really fun. And I love Christmas and buying loads of presents for everyone and wrapping everything up. But getting presents is really, really fun. Starring a movie, we'll get a number one record. Well, depending on how good the movie was, I'd definitely rather star in the movie 100%. Have horns or a little tail? I would rather have a tail, because I can tuck it away in Sleep standing up or eat upside down? You can quite comfortably eat upside down if you've got help. So if you help me out, I would rather eat upside down. But then, yes. I mean, I'd have to feed you every meal of the day. That's cool. OK. Taisy Lawrence, that was your personality test, and I think you did rather well. Well done. Shut up, step up, and get it done. Who's in? Good.